This is basically measuring the margin of support that Donald Trump had over the Democratic candidate between 2020 and 2024. Every single community, he cl either closed that gap or gained support if he had won it. Um, and there's a really a re remarkable trend going on here, Tim, that I think is telling about the electorate, which is that the, the darker the color, the bigger the margin is, and he's seeing bigger margins of growth in the Providence urban area. Um, the number one place being Central Falls, where he saw his uh, margin increase by 17.1 percentage points. Wow. And that is already building off of a nearly 20 percentage point growth between 2016 and 2020. So Central Falls, which, you know, you ask any political operative in the state, that is a Democratic stronghold. And we should note it did vote overwhelmingly for Harris. Yeah, here, we are. here is Harris. Right. Here's Central Falls. Are we on 2024, we are. So 63% to 35% um, victory for Harris. But on that heat map, you see Trump's growth. support yeah. gaining there by a really large margin. And one of the things we saw in exit polls across the nation after during election night, Tim, is that uh, Trump was doing really well with Hispanic voters, especially Hispanic men. Mm -hmm. um, Central Falls has, a, I think it's close to 60 to 70 percent Hispanic residents. Um, so you see this growth happening there. You see it happening in Providence and you see it happening in Pawtucket. So mm -hmm. big, big Democratic strongholds. But Trump has been able to make some gains there. As you could tell from us going through it, all of these maps are in a, interactive. So hang out on WPRI.com. Uh, and you can toy around with these maps. Eli has a great explainer uh, there as well, so make sure you check that out. Eli, thanks so much for uh, putting this together. Yep, great to be here.